Now the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I did yesterday. And I spoke about an incident that occurred in John's Road in which a man lost his life. In which I said that there are two main culprits that are creating all sorts of havoc, chaos and catastrophe. Causing a lot of persons to lose their life. And it's going to start a big war in a John's Road again. I am speaking about a person whose name is China and the next one, Nachi Nachilos. Now people, when I did that video, I played a voice note. And I said that, in the voice note, sorry. It said that China man, even though he is a known murderer, even though he is a known criminal and extortionist, he was held by the popo and then the popo let him out soon after. So people, I am going to show you that video right right now. Finally. Now people like I said Made it very convenient The person with the big green arrow That is China man Now I know that you are probably expecting to see somebody looking like Horace Chang Now people may talk about a black Chinese So you know say, if you have some sort of slanted eye in a Jamaica They might call you China Or sometimes you know that a lot of Jamaicans are mixed so therefore, them have a black mother, Chinese father, vice versa. Chinese Jamaican, that is. So people, this is the man right here. Now people, like I told you before, as it pertains to this channel, we come with the voice notes, we come with the pictures, and we also come with the videos to validate what we say. So therefore, we don't just make up stories out of the blues, and you can't Google them. They don't exist anywhere and master God earth so me just I'll show you what I am also trying to prove is how the link the link that I have in Jamaica as it pertains to the street is because I spoke about this yesterday and before 12 hours within 24 hours I got this video so people me just I'll show you how the links there so therefore whenever you call up my name or talk or say this or say that understand yourself Understand that we only deal with facts. This is the facts channel, not the farce channel. So therefore, whenever I say anything, people may have proof. That means that if I say this person fake, that means that I have proof. Because when I listen to their stories, it sounds like fairy tale, point blank and period. Now, people, the essence of the story is this. This man, next one named Nachilus, clansman. Top shooter, top murderer. However, they are roaming about in the community. The police go for them, them let them out. It is as if it is some sort of game of in and out. Today they are in, tomorrow they are out. And when they are out, people, these persons, they did not rehabilitate. They did not change their life. They are not now serving God. As a matter of fact, they are serving all sorts of sauce and not the good type we are talking about, hot lead. So therefore, if these people been creating chaos and catastrophe for all this time, why is it that the poor poor feel as if it is okay to let them out? Why is it that the system that is serving Jamaica, that see that we are playing with all sorts of criminals and murderers and people, sometimes some people are some guess and spell murderer, they may told you to me talk about China and Nachi Nachi Lust. Them are known, known murderer. So therefore, all of these poor poor that went to training school, all of these poor poor that people are claiming that are doing this and doing that and make Jamaica one of the worst places in the world. This right here, that person right there is justification that this person should be D-E-A-D -E man walking. That means that he's not supposed to depend on Jamaica. He is not supposed to be standing up. He is supposed to be laying down, looking up near the ceiling. And you know exactly what I am speaking about. Codename, O.C., Dovecott, Madden. Somewhere, six foot six in a some sort of board box. So people may just say. 
at the end of the day if you have a problem and you make that problem keep living on going on this problem is going to come back and haunt you maybe not haunt you directly but haunt you indirectly and directly jamaica so therefore if jamaica have a problem and them have so much serious police and me are telling us that are the man they so how comes this man i go get up tomorrow get up next week get up next month next year and take with people life innocent people life for not none at all because people it is bad that you are bad but when you're bad and bad mind and broke and insecure you are a very dangerous criminal so therefore me not think so me need to say anything else the people and the relevant authority know if you do and in the come allow the people them now people you understand that i am a person that speak about justice and want to see things done the easy way but however it seems as if some of these criminals them have immunity them geared up them have all sorts of delirance and people i don't believe in obia however it has to be something why these persons are doing so much bad and still get away with it still allow to just roam around as if nothing happened so people make something happen do the do point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like i say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and people i have started uploading news items on that channel and i am going to pin the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news i am going to address a message that I got the other day and it pertains to businessman Robert Fletcher that was taken out at Traveler's Lounge 74 Old Hope Road to be specific the other day in which the gunmen were trapped down by the Jamaica Eye and there was some sort of big shootout on Trafalgar now people when I did that video and I've done a couple of videos since then and I gave the history of the person, the history of his family, that with him, three family members, the father, the brother, and him lost their life at that same place. Same destination, same venue. And I also said that um, he lived in foreign. And I also said that they took a life of fire piece from him. Now people, I also did a next video and I said that the detectives on the case and the firearm licensing authority in Jamaica is investigating the fact that this man, a controversial businessman and people, that could mean a whole lot of things. Who was deported and who signed some sort of forged document to, for something, I don't know exactly what it is. Now people, when I did that video, I got a message from somebody and the person said to me, So oh you never tell me say him a deportee and him a firearm. Now people, whenever I see messages like this, it always comes from a subset of people. Some people that have some sort of agenda that seems as if they live in a perfect world because the clown that they follow make it seem as if he is perfect and they are also perfect and people the truth and the fact is that whenever you see people act like that if you go into them closet the amount of skeletons a pop down the door for bust out however that is the next story for our next day the point that i am trying to make is this me as a blogger that have my ears on the street that is well respected by a lot of persons on the street some people are not really the perfect people they are not really the everyday nine to fiver so therefore them do things that i would consider shady things that i would consider to be illicit However, as a blogger slash journalist, if you want to call it that, I don't really like put title for anything, but 
I use the word journalist to say that. When you get information from people, especially people in the underground, people that are considered not as squeaky clean, a little shady, a little rough around the edges, you get that information based on trust, based on the fact that them feel as if, even though you are, you are a person that stand up for truth and rights, and the way that you live might be contrary or conflicting to how they live. So I say this to say that these people trust you to the point where they will give you information that they are not giving the popo, that they are not giving investigators. And sometimes the investigators, the popo, them be a scally can move forward. They are lost, in other words. So therefore, I am like the gap, the bridge between the streets and the popo. Not an informant, but just I give information because as a legal law-abiding taxpaying citizen of Jamaica, that is my duty. I am not associated or linked with any sort of criminal organization. So therefore, I can't snitch out anybody. So the point that I am trying to make is that these persons, them respect you for give you information. So therefore, if me go say no, you know, so the little man that they deported, the people that gave me this information, you know what, they are going to call me and say, my youth, uh, oh, you're going to put out them the information and know so the man just lose him life. And then you're going to bring down more heat upon the man. That is what would happen. And then I would lose my link. So therefore, me are going to burn my bridges. Just because I uh, or you, because you all in your feelings. Now, people, these people are all in their feelings because of what some unscrupulous character has been telling them. Oh, this man link with vibes cartel, so you know, say I'm a criminal. <laughs> you know me, I talk about. This man of all kind of criminal element, this man of this, this man of ex popo and in a some sort of shootout, people, me live in America for all long. Me live in America before me left high school, so when me there come some sort of police. So the point that I am trying to make is that whenever I hear these questions, I know who it is coming from indirectly or why these people ask these questions. So people, at the end of the day, I say this to say that. I do things, I move to the beat of my own drum. I am an independent person. So therefore, when I do what I do, I do the same thing that any other journalist would do that have some sort of respect. Because, your sister, journalists, them going at these garrison, them going at these um, crack house or these crack gates and they interview gunmen, hustlers, smugglers. So therefore, if them go at the people them house, and them know so these people are gunmen. And them say 10 guard over there so with all kind of AK-47. You think them can go get an interview and then come back out and call the popo and say, you know, so I see 100 AK-47 like over here. So, so people, me just uh, say, you know what would happen to these people the next time them get some sort of interview with some sort of gunman or bad man. They are going to lose their life. And at the least, they are going to lose their reputation and respect. So therefore, if you have reputation and respect, you will do anything to hold it. And that is exactly what I do. And that is exactly what I divulge, what I need to divulge. Because at the end of the day, the man lost him life. He was not a criminal. Maybe he was some sort of criminal before. However, him get the, 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 the firearm through all sorts of controversial means. However, that is for the firearm licensing authority and the detectives to do. That is their job. That is not my job. My job is to speak about a story, and that is exactly what I did. So, therefore, you, Miss Lady, and Miss a man, I don't even know what to say about you know, something wrong with you, know, on the need to check on the head, on the need of life, point blank, and period. So, anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.